I'm someone that's always been a saver. And so even when I was young and I got money for my birthday, I would always go to the bank and put the money in my saving account. And when I've got part-time jobs, all the money I earn, I would save it. And I would have almost this anxiety if I had to spend the money. And even at the age of 18, I was always I had the mindset that I'm going to have to save money, save everything I can to build up a deposit to buy a home. And my whole belief system completely changed when I read the book Die With Zero. And the whole promise of the book is basically, instead of saving all your money and borrowing from your richer future self, you gotta try and invest that money in experiences, in life experiences that you may not be able to have in the future. So if you're a 20 year old, going on that jet ski or going skiing, going bungee jumping is something you can't do when you're 60. So you should spend money you earn on investing in those sorts of experiences that you can't do when you're older. So the benefit you get when saving when you're young doesn't outweigh the experiences you can have. And he goes and talks about memory dividends. And so what that basically means is if you invest in having experience when you're young, the memories you get from that experience compound over decades. So you can still talk about that Europe trip when you're 60 with your friends and you would have had 40 years to, to reminisce about that trip. Whereas you have that trip when you're 60, you may only have 20 years to talk about it. And so it really emphasizes the importance of having experiences when you're young because those experiences create memories that compound that you can talk about and enjoy and reminisce about for decades. So reading this book has just been able to completely shift my mindset towards saving. Now obviously you've got to have emergency funds set aside just in case any bills come up that you've got to be able to pay. But besides that, should be investing in experiences when you're young. I wish I'd been given this book when I was 18 and I could have more experiences in my life that I've potentially missed out on, but now I'm not gonna miss out on those opportunities. So you don't wanna be old and have regrets of all the things you could have done when you were young, but you didn't because you decided to save. And the problem with saving is that in the future, you're gonna be earning more income than you are now. So you're basically giving money to your richer self and you're taking the money away from your poorer self. So what you gotta be doing is giving them, keeping the money for your poorer self to invest in experiences, to learn new things, new skills, try new things, try to go on a different adventure. Keep that money for the younger self because the older self is gonna be richer. Don't give the money to him, he's already got the money. So there's two main actions that I took from reading this book. The first was creating a bucket list of things that I would wanna be able to do that I can only do in my 20s. And I also created an anti-bucket list of things of weird and random things that would be unusual and things that I can also only do in my 20s. So I've got a whole bucket list of things and activities and experiences I want to have in my 20s and a thing of weird activities that you might not be able to do when you're older just for a bit of fun to keep your life interesting. So try and create a bucket list for yourself, a 10 year bucket list of things you want to do in your 20s. Then the next thing is setting up your banking. You obviously want to be able to take action and spend money on your experiences. So to start off small, I set up a bank account for experiences and whenever I get an income, a certain amount of money gets automatically transferred into that bank account every week. So every week I've got a certain amount of money I can go spend on experiences. No questions asked, just go have fun, try new things, go to a restaurant, go rock climbing, go ice skating, try and do these different activities fun and obviously as I earn more income I'm going to have more money to spend on these experiences and try new things. Now I hope you try and implement these two actions. Try and create a bucket list for yourself of all the things you can do in your 20s that you would have no regrets doing. You don't want to be in your 50s and 60s regretting the things you could have done in your 20s so write those things down that you think you want to do and try and do them. The next is automate your banking. Create a separate bank account and automate a certain amount of money to go into that account each week and just spend the money on experiences, have fun, try new things, just really just create as many memories as you can. You want to stop giving money to your future richer self. Invest in yourself now by having amazing experiences. You won't regret it. I'm not regretting it. I'm having fun and I wish I'd learned this earlier. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you took some amazing tips and you implemented these tips, let me know how it goes. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video.